Um, uh, now I want to, to remind you of some uh, concepts. We already have discussed the uh, term uh, health. And I want to, uh, to point out that I focus on the archaeological term, on, uh, on the interpretation uh, based on archaeological sources. Uh, we have uh, those other ideas, uh, but uh, those other definitions uh, are a different matter. We already heard that. Uh, then we have um, the concepts of ethnicity and culture. Herja brought up the idea that uh, ethnicity has a specific culture and this, that this culture is determined by geography. Um, this was a very successful idea because it influenced much of the research of the 90s and the even 20th century. But we know there's um, a certain problem. It's not so simple. It's a little bit more difficult. Next term, nationality. Um, originally, it was intended to be opposed to absolutism and reform. It was about uh, involving people, about uh, forming communities. But then it turned uh, to be another concept. It was um, a turn against the others. Um, uh, this scheme uh, shows that uh, in an early stage it was um, uh, uh, opposing to the structures of power, but then it was used to support the structures of power and it was turned against the others. Um, and uh, if I say the first one is, uh, is a good idea, the second one is a bad idea, this is an ethical statement. We can well come back to it. The next concept race um, was prepared in the humanities by Clem and we know. But the important point is um, that the work of, of Darwin was the, the heir of modern science. So it uh, seems to be a, a, a term which brings um, a scientific ideas into the uh, uh, into the world. So um, uh, uh, the term of rights uh, was a very fashionable uh, term at the end of the 19th century um, um, uh, because of the success of biology. And those different concepts uh, were brought together in the 19th century. Um, first, we have uh, ethnicity and culture. Uh, then we have uh, the, uh, the nation, the national paradigm, and the race paradigm. And uh, today, maybe race doesn't play an important role. But what do you think? I don't know. Uh, but um, at least the other ones um, are sticking together. And uh, I want to show that this is a kind of cultural science. Those concepts are supporting each other. Um, the, idea, the idea is that, uh, for example, nations are a kind of political ethnicity. And uh, so we can construct an equation uh, that uh, entities of all of those concepts are equal to the other one. But, you know, there are the problems in this concept. But why is it uh, a successful uh, concept? We have to look at the uh, political scientific system. Here we have uh, a simplification of the system. In the middle part we have research, this empirical research, assumption, skepticism. On the one side we have the political sphere, and on the other side the scholarly sphere. And those spheres draw knowledge out of research, and those spheres make assumptions and guess. But we have two subsystems which are working completely different. The political sphere has a kind of ethical problem, and um, the political sphere needs simple and convincing answers. They need not to be true. On the other hand, we have the scholarly uh, sphere, which uh, needs probable and consistent answer. Here we have a logical problem. So we have different subsystems with 
different demands and different assumptions. In the whole system, in the complete system, the different assumptions interfere. So uh, we don't have a consistent system. And of course, this is a problem. And without a, 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 a quality control, which is uh, called skepticism, uh, without a quality control, uh, we will never find that there are um, um, medical problems with uh, the research procedure. So let's come back to the DCNR system. Um, this is successful because uh, um, uh, the different concepts are supporting each other. And the different concepts are uh, providing um, a different facet. The ethics group are um, providing the historical identification, culture, and empirical um, foundation, nation specific significant for the people and raise the air of science. Um, and um, this idea is based on the equation we have. Ethnic groups are kind of nations, uh, are kind of race, and have a, uh, a specific culture. And of course, all those concepts are related, but the, the entities are not equal. They are different. We already heard this. Um, the different concepts are connected by, by the idea of interaction. The ethnic groups are the side of social interaction. Um, the races are the side of biological interaction. So we have completely different uh, uh, entities, but uh, similar mechanisms. Uh, the groups are based on interaction, but uh, the groups are different. So, we have some wrong assumptions. And um, in addition to the assumptions which I've mentioned, we have some other wrong assumptions. And the problem with the wrong assumption is if you uh, make, if you have rather small ideas, like on the left, uh, it might work. Uh, a right assumption uh, maybe has not a big influence. Uh, but uh, if you uh, build a big idea on, on the basis of right assumption, um, the building should be down. But uh, in our case, the different wrong buildings are the part of each other to write uh, a picture. So this is why we uh, do not find that there is something wrong. We do not question it because the uh, different uh, concepts are supporting each other. And uh, this is on the basis of, uh, on the one hand, um, uh, political, uh, ethical judgment, and on the other hand, uh, scientific judgment. So, uh, uh, this system is very successful. Uh, this system does not work uh, properly. Uh, but what can we do? I want to, to, to give two examples, one example of how we can do it a little bit better, and one example which is kind of warning. Um, the first example is about culture. I think this is still a useful term, a useful concept, but we should modify this, uh, the traditional concept of culture a little bit. Uh, I want to start with a definition. And here I have a definition from Hansen who states culture cover standardization which are already connected. Culture covers similarities which are valid in groups of people. So uh, this is a very abstract definition, a definition which makes no statement about the content of culture, no statement about other details. It's a pure formal abstract. Uh, definition. And this is, I think, very useful because we can apply it in psychology, because we connect, can connect it to different other, more particular theories. And uh, this definition has some important implications. The first implication is that archaeological culture, in the sense of um, spatial bounded culture with sharp borders, 
are a very special case. We should not assume that they exist. It's possible, but it is not necessary. The next thing is there are many different uh, uh, cultures, and they form a kind of holy hierarchy, which is um, um, indicated by the picture. Um, we have many different related cultures, <coughs> and uh, we belong to, to many of those cultures. There is no one culture to which I belong. There are many different uh, cultures to which I belong. Um, and this is a completely different concept than uh, we traditionally use in archaeology. And then there is an interpretation. Um, I think we should detangle the different concepts. We should not try uh, uh, ethnic interpretations on the basis of archaeological sources. But what we can do, what uh, we can give as general interpretation is that cultures are mapping interaction structures. This is also a formal, uh, an abstract uh, result, uh, but uh, this is as far as we can go uh, with our sources. In uh, particular cases, uh, more particular interpretations may be possible. But in general, I think this is what we can do with the term of culture. Now we turn to the practical side. The analysis itself can be done with a cluster analysis, with some very special uh, methodical configuration, uh, which we will not discuss today. Um, but there are some important points. The first point is we should use our data, the idea of cultural marker because we have to know the significance of the cultural marker before we start our analysis. But uh, we uh, 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 have the significance of the cultural marker after the analysis. So this does not work. We need all information we have to be able to uh, construct uh, cultural basis. Cultural <coughs> and um, the results uh, also can be different. We should allow all kinds of results. Here, um, um, we see an example from Southwest Germany, where we have a different overlaying cultural area with fuzzy border. So this is something which we would not consider as archaeological culture. But uh, those are the, um, um, the structure uh, which are there applying this methodology and uh, applying the definition we had on the last slide. Um, if we assume that um, all archaeological cultures have uh, uh, sharp borders and um, we can uh, belong to, to only one culture, these are assumptions which are uh, not realistic. Uh, so I think we should allow also those structures. Uh, there are other cases where we find track order, but uh, we have to test it. So the next example is for networks. And uh, my example itself is from uh, my field of work, it's about internal. There's an idea that we should turn from, uh, from groupings to networks, from one paradigm to another one. Networks are about uh, the relations between uh, individuals or whatever it said. So it's a very good idea. But of course, there are some problems. Um, sexuality can be defined in different ways. Traditional territory say that the central place provides central function uh, for a certain area. A certain area, this uh, uh, one of sharp borders. So it's uh, a similar approach to the uh, uh, actual, traditional cultural area approach. Um, there is a, uh, an analogy between those uh, ideas. And uh, it's discussed that we should turn to a network approach. Um, the network center controls connections between uh, other, uh, other sites. So it's a different definition and a completely different construct. Um, is it a good idea to turn from one paradigm to the other one? I don't think so. 
um, because uh, those uh, are specific structures of organization, of spatial organization. And uh, uh, it's, of course, wrong to assume the one uh, structure. Uh, but assuming the other one would be the same. Uh, uh, we should test which one uh, fits best to the data. So, um, it isn't a solution to, to accept that both uh, uh, structures are possible. We should not use uh, one kind of only. We should um, uh, use both of them. But there's another problem. Uh, the next problem is um, uh, each side, each village, has a certain degree of physical centrality and natural centrality. We have complementary concepts, but complementary concepts which are uh, present at all sides. The, the, the question is which one is dominant? We have, of course, both types of centrality. But uh, one uh, structure can be dominant. It's uh, rather complicated. And uh, the original idea to apply one theory, for example, just the other theory, uh, and this uh, gives us a structure which we can use for interpreting uh, our archaeological observations. Uh, this uh, <coughs> seems a little bit strange if we look for two details. So, um, Let's come to the land. We find it's very easy to get trapped in hard work like that. Um, we always make run assumptions, but without skepticism, we uh, will never find that there are something uh, wrong. And in the case of uh, the easy and bad systems with uh, concepts which support each other, uh, and uh, a system which uh, seems to be perfect, nobody is questioning that um, um, uh, 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 complete uh, construction. So it's, um, of course, a problem that we always make some assumption and uh, we have to find out that there is something wrong. Um, and there are other ideas. We have to detangle the concept. Um, it is not necessary that we bring together all the concepts, archaeological structures and uh, ethnic interpretations, for example. And we have a, a list of some other uh, things which we should do. Finally, I have one advice. If you are very airplane, you remember the first slide, and you find that it does not work, please don't continue building them in the same way. Thank you. <laughs>